I'm actually from Boyle Heights. I was raised here. Um, family from immigrants, my mom and dad, hard workers. My dad's a truck driver. My mom took care of us at home. I learned a lot from both of them. Um, my dad was a little worried that I had a passion for music. He uh, didn't really want me to do music. He said, you're going to be struggling. You're not going to have a very easy life. Um, please think, think about it. Consider something else. I did architecture for about a year. Um, my dad was happy. Um, I wasn't as passionate with architecture as I was with music. Um, when I took a leap of faith and I decided to do music, it was really my passion for mariachi music that overcame me. Um, my dad was a little disappointed, but he realizes now that after all I've been able to accomplish, thanks to my family, my wife, and my children, who are also mariachi musicians, um, I'm very happy to see that we're continuing the tradition of mariachi music here in Boyle Heights. Uh, we have an after-school music program called the Mariachi Conservatory. Um, our aim is really to expand um, to the community, people of all ages, of all walks of life, and show them the art form of mariachi music. In my eyes, I, I just don't see this being just the music of Mexico. People from Japan, people from Croatia, musicians from uh, Venezuela, from Colombia, from Cuba, people from all over the world are embracing this music. This without it having to be mainstream or pop. And that's one of my concerns, that because it's not mainstream or pop, our children will not be able to maybe feel very comfortable in trying this music out, accepting it. And I'm very happy to see that my daughters, Angie and America, which are out there, they've actually taken on this music. It provided me with an identity. Being born here, hey, I was a metalhead. I love oldies, I love all kinds of music. Mariachi music didn't come into my life until I was 14 or 15. <laughs> Apparently my dad, he just loved trio music. That's what he listened to, trio music. So he's a very romantic type of guy. And I just found a passion for mariachi music thanks to a school called Belvedere Middle School, which started their mariachi program. I basically fell in love with it. Uh, so much so that it was a life-changing event for me. Uh, now I'm a strong advocate for mariachi music education. At the conservatory, we have mariachi classes. When I see different ages, different uh, ethnic backgrounds come and appreciate the music and learn from it, I think back and I remember what all my colleagues tell me, especially the ones that explored and researched this, that it's passed down. And that's the way it was passed down in the past, family to family, and then friends to friends. And I'm very happy to see that I got, was able to pass it down to my children, and that our school is actually passing it down to people from Boyle Heights, from outside the community. I look back and remember how this music began. It was very humble beginnings. People were not trained in their instruments. They were poor farm workers. They didn't have these charro suits. They had what you call white pants or white shirt. That was the uniform of the peasant workers. They self-taught themselves. Um, they did what they can. They channeled their frustrations, their passion for their land, their passion for nature. And I'm very proud and honored to wear this and be able to be a mariachi education advocate. Thanks to my wife, who's a strong woman, and always reminds me that even though mariachi was male-dominated, I'm very happy to see that women, little girls, Young ladies and women have taken on this and broken in this barrier that women can play in mariachi too. This music is for all walks of life. It's universal. It's for everyone. So I'm hoping that our little site here in Boyle Heights, which is just one of many that are trying to promote this music, can continue to grow our program and continue to teach what we so much love. Thank you very much.